If that isn't the perfect type of lighting for this video, then I don't know what is. just a simple sport and rivalry. There are many, many different reasons as to why the rivalry is so strong between the two teams. And it's mainly because in the west of Scotland, Rangers supporters are seen as mostly native Scots or Ulster Scots. And the Celtic supporters are traditionally seen as Irish Scots. The Rangers traditional support is mostly from a Protestant community, while Celtic support is largely from an Irish Catholic community. One weird thing about the rivalry is Scottish flags are quite rare, quite rarely seen during the rivalry. Celtic fans are more likely to raise the Irish flag and Rangers fans are more likely to raise the Ulster flag or the Union Jack. Hopefully that gives you a bit of background as to why this rivalry is so highly anticipated each time it comes around. Anyway, that is enough background information about the rivalry. Let's jump into some facts and figures surrounding the old farm. Let's go. Mama told me. Yeah. Black Paisley. Mama told me. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. In total, there have been a whopping 400 meetings between Rangers and Celtic over the years. Rangers are currently leading with the most victories with a solid 159 victories, yet Celtic are fairly close to catching up with them with a solid 145 games won. Within that, there have also been 96 draws. 96 draws. That means at least one in four of each game on average has been a draw. That just shows how equal the two sides are. Well, when. On the month of February 2012, Rangers fell into administration, which led to most of their key players leaving the team and Rangers falling down to the bottom tier of Scottish football. This at the time was a real kick in the teeth for Rangers as many of them, many of their supporters, never thought they could get back to the top flight. However, Rangers flew through two divisions of Scottish football and reached the second top tier, hoping to win and find the path back to the top. Sadly last year Rangers were unsuccessful in doing so, yet this year has been such a different story. At the beginning of the season, Rangers were taken over by Mark Walton, and throughout the season they've proved that they still have the squad strength to reach the top tier of Scottish football. The highest crowd for a league meeting between the two sides was 118,000 people in January 1839. To this day, that is still a British record with the highest attendance at a football match. And to think that they all stood back then is just crazy. Just think the amount of people that must have been in there. That's like, what, a quarter, a fifth of Glasgow all packed in one stadium. It's mad. Now there's countless amount of goals that have been scored between the two sides in the old form. But me, I've picked out two of my favourite goals, one from each side that I thought were the best goals. My favourite Celtic goal against Rangers, which you can see on screen right now, is Henrik Larson. What a goal this was. If I was a Celtic fan, even though I'm not, I would have been going crazy. And even still, as a football fan, I sit back and said, what a goal. My favourite Rangers goal from the Old Firm, as you can also see on screen, was Jamie Ness's first goal in the Old Firm. I was watching this live and I remember it so well. I was going crazy. What a goal that is. Imagine being that young and scoring a goal like that on your Old Firm debut. It's mad. But that's enough facts about the Old Firm. Let's talk this season. Keep in mind that Celtic are a division above Rangers, here are some season statistics. Celtic are currently sitting 
comfortably at the top of the Scottish Premiership with a solid 76 points and an 8 point gap between second place which leaves them most likely to run away with the title. Rangers are also sitting top of the table with a solid 79 points and a 13 point gap between them and second place Falkirk. But keep in mind they also have two games in hand over Falkirk. That also means that they are most likely to take the title. Recent means in Old Firm for Rangers have not been great. Last year, the two sides met for the first time since 2012. Rangers gave a no-show performance against Celtic and Celtic ran all over them, winning 2-0 comfortably. Now you're all probably wondering, this year it will be different. I think it will be different. Last year, Rangers were way not as good as they are now. And personally, I think it will be a great game. But who are the real favourites? With all this being said about the rise of Rangers this season and Celtic's slump this season, the Parkhead side are still currently favourites to come out on top at handed. Fair enough they've had not the best of seasons in terms of Celtic standards, but pundits and fans believe that Celtic have the quality and strength in their squad to beat Rangers on Sunday. On the other hand, Rangers are missing out on some key players. Their top scorer is short of fitness and Mark Warburton doesn't believe he's fit to play on Sunday. Personally, being a Rangers fan myself, I really, really want Rangers to win. Over the past few seasons, I've kind of lacked away from Rangers and I've went more to English football. But seeing their performances this season, I've sought a whole new side to Rangers and there is hope. Again, there is hope. As I said, I feel Rangers can clinch the win this time round. But you never know, it is football. Anything can happen. That has been it from me today. I hope you did enjoy this old firm build up and enjoy something a little different from this channel. I was going to go out and play football, but it's currently raining outside and I thought, why not just do something different? If you are watching this on a Sunday, I hope you enjoy the game and I'll see you guys next time.